Let's get this right. <sighs> Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> This is all I have to say about this for this moment. One year from today, Micah Parsons will be ranked number one among linebackers on Madden. 11 from heaven, as I keep telling you, is special. He is a rare blend of speed and power and supreme confidence. As you know, he won Defensive Rookie of the Year last year, but there were long stretches of the season when he was right in the middle of conversation for Defensive Player of the Year. Mm -hmm. As he says, he was just starting to figure it out at the end of last year's rookie season. He is poised right here, right now, to have a huge breakout season, and I believe he's going to break a whole lot of hearts of rival fans with game-turning plays, mm -hmm. game-wrecking plays. So you can have your number seven ranking all that you want <laughs> right here, right now, but trust me, it will not last. Here he comes. Skip, look, I think they got it right because if you look at the five, the guys that are in front of him, five of the six have been all pros. So it's not so like... it's a reputation? Well, Skip, I, I think the thing is, is that the only thing that these guys... And, and, and I think they probably should have included uh, Micah as an edge rusher because that's where he's the best at. Skip, if you look at these guys, Warner, the Davis, and the David, and Wagner, and Darius Leonard, Darius Leonard has just been an all-pro since he stepped foot in this league out of South Carolina State. And Rokon Smith is 25 years of age, and he's in year five. He's a thumper. I just think the thing is, is off the ball, I believe these guys are a little better off the ball than what now. Clearly, Micah is the supreme pass rusher to all these guys. But I think when it's skipped, I don't think they factor um, rushing the quarterback into this equation as much as maybe they should. Because I believe if you factor pass rush ability in there, but we don't think of middle backers or off the ball backers, Skip, as, 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 as rush anything. And that's where his specialty is. But these guys are better at stopping the run, diagnosing something, and hitting it immediately. I think right now he overruns. Uh, he, he, he has uh, struggled a little bit getting off blocks, and he overruns because he's so quick. He sees something, and he goes right now, and they, and, and they use that to uh, uh, against him. But I don't have a problem with the guys that they have on this list in front of him. And maybe you're right. They need to decide. Are we going to let the man just rush the passer, or are we going to just let him be off the ball like a Wagner, like these guys, that, like the other guys that's on the list? Because, Skip, if you let him rush the quarterback, I think he could get potentially 13, 14 sacks a season. But it's kind of hard. I think he could get 20, but that's just me. Ooh, that's a lot of sacks, Skip. Well, I, I watched He's, somebody get him last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> so now you, now you said he better than T.J. Watt. I believe his potential is greater than T.J. Watt's if you let him do what he does best. Which is rush the quarterback. Uh, I mean, T.J. Watt does it every single play. This guy gets to do it about I mean, half the time. I maybe? mean, T.J., you know, he'll drop a hook to flat. I yeah. mean, you know, he, he do a little something like that. But, look, I, I, I just think the thing, Skip, it's one year. Okay, I mean, he did, he did make first-team All-Pro last year. But it's not like, Skip, the guys that they got in front of him like, like some bums or something. You're no, looking... they're not bums, but, but they are some aging players, except for Fred Warner, because he's just entering his pro – yeah. he is really I, – I got nothing but respect. He, he really good. He, he, he does it all. He, he's not – they don't ask him to rush the pass. He can blitz, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah wreak yeah. havoc. But they don't line him up on the edge like they do Michael Parsons. They don't really line any of these guys up. No. A lot, a lot of these guys are delayed blitz guys, or they try to get them matched up on a running back. Okay. They'll actually put the, uh, Michael hand in the dirt, or they'll put him on the edge and walk him to the edge. They don't really walk these guys to the edge. No. Like I said, I don't have a problem with any of the guys that are in front of okay. him. And maybe but, you're but right. Look at number two, Demario Davis. He's 33, entering 11th year. Then Levante, as you well know, is 32, entering 11th year. Then Bobby Wagner, as you well know, is 32, entering 11th year. Darius Leonard is just entering his prime. <laughs> okay, he's entering his fifth year. Yeah. So I give you that, and Roquan's just entering his fifth year. Yeah. I give you – they're different. They are thumpers. Yes. They're, they're sort of quasi-Ray Lewis's. You know, yes, they're, they're, yes, I, yes. I can't say they're Ray Lewis's, but, but they're, they're, they're out they're, of that yeah, mode, yes, right? Yeah. And then here's Micah, fish out of water at number seven. Right. Well, wait a second. I still just think on, on, on sheer – 
athletic ability, sheer maneuverability. I'll take Mike over any of these yeah. guys, but but he can't do what they're all asked to do, which is play sort of inside backer. Yes. Like see ball, strike ball, carrier. You know, like yes. they, they don't yes. – Micah doesn't really – he can do that, but that's not his primary right. responsibility. That's not what he's best at. That's okay. not where you don't get your most bang for your buck no. for Micah Parsons. All right. So now we're having a label issue. We're having a definition yeah. issue. Who is he? What is he? And what will DQ, as you call him, Dairy Queen, as in Dan <laughs> Quinn, w w w how cute will he get with him? Because the, he just outcuted himself last year. Mm -hmm. He's got him covering wideouts down the field at the goal line. Right. And, and he made the plays a couple times. I right. look up and he's right. making a play against New Orleans down the field. And he's making a play right. against the, up there at the Giants at the goal line. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, oh, what are you thinking? Well, well Skip, That's not what he does best. You have to think, okay, Dan Quinn started out and he had Bobby Wagner for a number of years. But Bobby couldn't do the things as far as rush the passer mm -hmm. like this could. Now, Bobby in pass coverage, Bobby at stopping the run, nice. getting up, you know, thumping the guard and getting yep. off the block yep. and making the tackle, he was as good as we've had in this league I, I in a very agree. long time. Yep. But I think sometimes. Which is why he's a Ram. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think that sometimes, Gil, what happens is a guy is so talented and we just got, we got to get cute. We got to just say, uh, let, let me show you how talented my guy is. Watch I'm me. A, I'm gonna line him up at corner yeah, and but, let him cover him. But that's a look at me, not look at him. Right. Right? Look yeah. at me. And, right. And what did DQ win off la that last year? He was he the assistant, assistant yeah. of the year. Mm -hmm. okay. Assistant of the year. Way to go. And where did it get me? It, it got me with heartburn. It got you defensive rookie of the year. That's what it got no, you. It got Aren't you me, happy with that? It got me just being defensive about <laughs> Dan Quinn because I came in here morning after morning saying, I don't know what they're doing. Because when you did put his hand in the dirt, even right. though he, he can stand up. Yeah, he stayed. He however yeah. you want to do it is fine with me. Right, right. Down or up. You whatever. just want him on the edge. Well, all I know is that play made against Justin Herbert and then the play made against Taysom Hill and then that poor little Heineken he, Washington. Yeah, he, he, he nearly separated him Well, he from definitely wasn't the same after that. He was not the same after that. Well, those are the those are game-wrecking plays. Right. Where you look back at that play and you say, well, the, the game turned on that play. Right. On the Justin Herbert sack, where Justin Herbert's retreating, retreating. They're, they're in position. They, they got me dead to rights. They're right. down there like first and goal at the one. Right. And he's retreating and he's retreating. He's saying, well, I can outmaneuver. No, you can't outmaneuver this guy. He's faster than you ever thought about me. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And then we see... Day after day through the off season, you want to race? Yeah, I'll race you. I'll, I'll race all you guys, <laughs> right? Pro Bowl, I'll race all you guys. I, I don't care what position you play. I'll race you all. Then he's with his agents, group of players, mm -hmm. and there's some DBs in the group. Let's run a four. Yeah, I'll run a forty, and I'll get you. And he got them all. And then he goes to softball celebrity games, and he's jacking it out of the park. And then he goes to the Rangers taking BP, and he's jacking it out of the park. Yeah. Because he's just fearless about Oh, yeah, he's a supreme su athlete now. Yeah, so, and he is supremely confident. Yeah. And I believe supremely dedicated to his craft as far as film study and trying to do it the right way. I think in a couple of years, Skip, if he keeps progressing, there's no question in my mind he'll be at the top of this. He'll be at the top of this list. Okay, good. And yet, I'm not sure which list he belongs on because <laughs> I, I've told you before, I, the, the ESPN breakdown about inside backers, off the ball backers. Right. I, I don't know what he... Exactly. It, to me, he belongs with edge rushers. Yes. Okay? I, I don't yes. know how you want to quantify that, yes. but, but he's an edge rusher. Right. And we just did a topic a few minutes back on the show about Dak has to be his very best to overcome what they didn't do in the offseason. Mm -hmm. I believe Dak's fate it no longer hinges on Ezekiel at this stage and age because I don't think you can trust what you're going to get from Zeke. Okay. But you can trust what you're going to get from the other side of the ball starting with this guy. Right. So I believe this guy will be more valuable. We always go back and forth right. about how valuable you are right. at your position. I believe he will be the Aaron Donald of this defense. Not, not that they do the same things, right. but I, I say his impact will be Donald-esque. Well, you know, he has to be because, it, okay. if, Skip, if he doesn't have a year comparable to the de to the year he had last year, this defense is going to take a step back. You know that, right? Absolutely. It hinges upon him. Yes. So my bottom line takeaway is I trust a second-year player 
in Micah Parsons way more than what's Dak going into seventh his seventh year. year. Way more than I trust a seventh year quarterback. My my fate will will uh, hinge and turn on a man. You don't that you that you turn on you that uh, no. that man done turned on no, you. I'm just telling truth over here. Man. Well, has anybody supported we him and defended him more than I We gotta leave this one here, have? guys. No. Until this year.